And in fact, I, I, it is appalling uh, that I see the administration in this posture. And of course, we should make clear these are the people who say that those of us who want the war to end and say it was a terrible mistake we're so, and are not going to vote money to keep it going, we're not supporting the troops. When, of course, they are the ones who are apparently guilty of abuse of the troops. Uh, and I, yeah, you're right. The, the, this notion that they shouldn't talk to the press is ludicrous. Of course, the argument is, well, the military can't talk to the press because of military reasons. This is a misuse of that doctrine, and I, I think it'll just get swept away. What, what about the people who got onto the Huffington Post? And they were, these weren't even the bloggers. These were just the, the comment section who said they, they expressed regret that the attack on Dick Cheney failed. Right. Uh, <laughs> More than now, regret. Well, what did they say? They said they, they wish. We, we wish it would die. Uh, I mean, they were, they were, it was okay. correct. Hey, but language. They said again, the if, was, they, if they this... said the bomb was wasted. <laughs> All right, but seriously, if this isn't China, shouldn't you be able to say that? Why, why did Ariana Huffington, well, my Bill, girlfriend, Bill, Bill, like I love her, Bill, but why did she China. take that off right away? Why did that well, happen? Well, Bill, first of all, no, it's clearly not China. You know, you shouldn't trivialize democracy. The fact that we are talking about it, this was China, we couldn't do it. And I, I, I don't think we ought to try to make this kind of comparison. Yeah. It's one thing to say that the administration made a stupid and unfair thing with the, stu with the soldiers. It's another to say that makes us China. That's just not sensible. As far as the Huffington Post is concerned, I gather she decided, as the person who runs it, that she didn't want to be associated with it. I think that's her right. People are free to say whatever they want to say in other fora. I think the person in charge of the forum could say, you know what, I, do I don't want to be associated with that, say it somewhere else. Well, and not only that, if she had left it up, she would have opened herself up to attack. She took it down immediately. She was still attacked by people that took the hate language and tried to make it stick to her. And obviously, she's trying to build a site where you can have reason debate, and uh, it's probably not in her best interest to allow that. But, but yeah, I don't think it's about having to take it off. It's actually trying to be responsible and say, look, you can have a discourse and dialogue and say, there's one thing to say, you hate Dick Cheney, right. which sort of applies to his politics. There's another thing to say, I'm sorry he didn't die in an explosion. And I think that... No, but, but, but you should be able to say it. You and by the way, it, you, you, know, you, you can't say it. You can't say it. Because you cannot have language that inspires Excuse me, Bill, can I ask you a question? Do you decide what the topics are for this show? Yeah, I decide the topics. They don't go there. No, look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you, and, and you I have, exercise but, no, control listen. over the show the way she does. But I, ha I have zero doubt that if Dick Cheney was not in power, people wouldn't be dying needlessly tomorrow. Okay, but let's talk about your show for a second very quickly. If somebody on this panel said they wish that Dick Cheney had been blown up, and you didn't say anything. I think anything. he did. Okay. Did you say no, that? No, I quoted that. You don't, okay. oh, but, you don't but if, that? If No, I'm just saying oh, that let, if he did die, say. other people, okay. more people would live. Okay, let, That's let, a fact. Let, let's put it this way, then. <laughs> if, if somebody came on here and said that they wished all abortion clinics had been blown up. Right, Sam. And you didn't step forward and say, I disassociate myself with those remarks, and it just floats out there in the transcripts, then you're going to be connected with those words. Arianna Huffington has every right to say, I don't want to be associated right. with this hate language. I'm going to take it down from my site, so right-wing talk show hosts aren't going to try to wrap those words around. You can say it on your own blog. You can say it elsewhere. Can't she can 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 express themselves without going to the first extreme? Uh, I, I, mean, I, I mean, here's my thing. If you can actually express no. what you're going to say, well, obviously those individuals can. Yeah. But what Ariana wants to do, and as disclosure, I, I, I blog on Huffington, I think what she wants to do is actually to try to have some responsibility in the blog sphere. I want to show you a little clip from Dick Cheney a second, but first I want to just say, here was Dick Cheney's quote today. He said, like it or not, the enemy we face in the war on 